What is happening, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's on. <laughs> I can't even say my name. What is going on, fam? It is awesome with Gone in 60. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I am going to be sharing with you guys updates on if you're looking to order a new Dodge or possibly Chevy, the quoted times I have received in terms of when you can take delivery of your car. So, guys, with that, let's jump into it and let me show you guys what I found out. All right, guys, as you guys know, I've you know, shared with you guys some polls. I've shared with you guys kind of some feedback, uh, you know, possibly looking to get rid of my, my bullet Mustang. Although right now it's kind of a, a crazy time in terms of used car prices as well as trying to buy new. And I've been basically kind of looking at two manufacturers because, you know, I still want a big American V8 uh, to replace my bullet with. So I've been looking at Dodge, uh, you know, a couple things I've been looking at there. Obviously the Dodge uh, Charger wide body scat pack, I think that would be fun. Uh, haven't made Mopar content for kind of the Charger community, but what I love about Mopar is I think whether you're a Challenger or Charger fan, you're both kind of on board with that. Uh, you know, have contemplated uh, the, the Challenger scat pack, uh, you know, doing a shaker, that's something I wish my previous car had had that it didn't have. And uh, you know, I have been trying to look for some used manual Hellcat Challengers. I think that would be fun, although, buying one of those used just scares me. And uh, I don't know, I, I really want something new just for that warranty and that peace of mind. And you don't you don't know how, well, no, we do know. We do know how you, you challenge your Hellcat and charge your Hellcat owners drive your car. Because if I had one, I'd be doing the same thing. Uh, another option, you know, I've kind of been looking at is the Camaro SS1 LE. Uh, I love the looks of those cars. The inside of them is where I struggle kind of seeing out of. Although I think it would be kind of cool to say, hey, I have owned a Dodge Challenger in manual, I've owned a Ford Mustang in manual, and now I've owned a Chevy Camaro in manual, and hopefully maybe bring you guys some cool comparisons of what I think between all three. Uh, lately though, I've kind of been kicking around the idea of possibly a ZL1. Guys, for the money, you know, right now at 2021, um, sorry, just had a phone call come in. So right now, a 2021 ZL1, you can order for around the mid-60 range, which for me definitely stretches me really beyond where I want to go. However, I can't get into a Charger or Hellcat uh, used even for that price or right around that price. So for something new, that would be pretty cool. But as I've made calls to Dodge and to Chevy to see like how realistic this could be, uh, I get a differing of opinions. Uh, obviously this chip shortage has delayed a lot of manufacturers. So I want to share with you guys kind of the quoted times of what I received from both manufacturers um, in terms of when you can receive these cars. So as I looked at Dodge doing the Charger wide body scat pack, uh, the sales rep I've talked to said, hey Austin, it'll be about eight weeks from the time you order it to delivery. Um, you know, they're kind of quoting eight to 12 weeks, but he said, I have not had a customer that has taken longer than 12 weeks to get it. Now I'm here in Utah, I don't know what factor that plays into it, but I've gotten quoted eight weeks and I feel pretty confident if I placed an order with Dodge, that car will be here in eight weeks. Although I can tell you right now that 2021s, you can still get them. They only have so many allotments of them, uh, but my sales rep is like, hey, you better jump on this here soon uh, because you're not gonna be able to order 2021s, you have to wait for the 2022. So, how true that is, I don't know. I think it's all kind of in flux. All right, so kind of like I talked about with, with Dodge, it seems like they're giving me very consistent, like accurate times of the eight week mark. However, when we flip over to Chevy, uh, I've called a few dealerships and I've called, let's see, four to be precise. One of them told me 12 to 15 weeks. One of them told me they don't know. It could be longer than 15 weeks. Cars are sitting on lots. And then finally, I got to one which I appreciate. I appreciate guys who are honest in the sales process. Whether it's bad news or good news, just shoot it to me straight. Uh, so I just barely got off the phone. I was actually recording this video. I had a different opinion of what Chevy had told me until I talked to uh, this dealer in Provo, Utah, that I'm actually believing and I think is actually the honest truth of it. So, uh, 
I recorded this video and honestly now I'm recording another bit because I want to make sure you guys get the most relevant and honestly honest information as possible. So I don't know how well this video is going to come together, but on the Chevy piece, what he told me is Chevy is not making new Camaros right now. The Camaro plant is shut down. I asked him when they will open it and he said, honestly, I don't know. We don't have any updates due to, you know, the China building burning down that was building the chips. He said they are getting chips. However, it is going to Chevy's more popular products like the Equinox, uh, the Corvette. He said the Corvette now is on a four year back order. And he said, can you believe that? And I said, no, I can't, but I have no interest in buying a Corvette if I have to wait four years for it. Not worth it, sorry Chevy. So really cool guy, what he said, if you find a car that you like with the specs that you like sitting new at another dealership lot, let him know. And I said, here's my challenge. Like, you know, some dealers play this game and you guys gotta be careful right now. They're pricing it at whatever they want. And it is, it is crazy. Like, it is nuts. Like these dealerships are getting away with highway robbery because they can, because there's no inventory. So I said, hey, I'm fine with that. Like if I do decide to go Chevy, I'm fine sending you that. But I said, the problem is, is say, look at a ZL1 right now. You can get one on Chevy's website, if they could build cars at about 65 grand. Now, if you go look at other dealerships across the nation on Auto Trader, they're going for like 75 grand, a 65 grand car. So they're marking them up seven to 10 grand. He's like, look, I don't play that game. We don't play that game. We'd sell it to you for MSRP, or if there's a discount or rebate to be had, we would honor or offer that. So that might be an option that I consider. So cool kind of updates for your back order on the Corvette, Dodge, seemingly is getting chips and they're giving it to their more popular models, which honestly Dodge Chargers probably carrying a lot of what Dodge is selling right now. So the Chevy guy kind of actually helped me get a better understanding of what's happening. Guys, there are chips, but they're going to the cars that the manufacturers are selling the most of at this time. So really appreciate that guy from Chevy, Pat from, from the Provo store uh, for, for Chevrolet. Really appreciate your honesty and kind of giving me an update on that. And honestly, hopefully that helps you guys. You're buying cars. It's, if you're looking to buy a Camaro, something that not a lot of people buy, uh, you're probably not gonna get one uh, for a while until the plant opens back up. Uh, but the Camaro plant is shut down. Dodge seems to be still running this because honestly, scat packs, chargers, those things are selling like hotcakes. So it makes sense that they're getting chips and they can give me an accurate quote time. Guys, I'm Austin. This is Gone in 60. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and we'll catch you on the next one.